Welcome to News 3. I'm Todd Carrillo. Topping our headlines, jury selection is underway in a high-profile trial. This is for Wesley Hadsel. He's the man charged with murdering his adopted stepdaughter, A.J. Hadsel. This is Hadsel's second murder trial. His first, back in 2020, ended with a mistrial due to issues with his criminal history. Hadsel was first charged with murdering A.J. and concealing her body in November of 2018. She had been reported missing three years before that. A.J.'s body was found behind an abandoned house in Southampton County. The medical examiner said A.J. died from acute heroin poisoning. A man shot late last night in Norfolk. Investigators telling us the man was shot just before 1030 on Remsen Street, right next to Granby High School. We're told that man may not survive. Right now, there's no information about who shot him or why. If you know anything, take action and call the crime line. Now let's head over to meteorologist Maddie Kirker in the First Warning Weather Center. We got a pretty decent day out there today to basically get all of our preparations in line for what could be potentially a significant snowfall by the end of the week. Looking at temperatures mid 50s today, we are also tracking the chance for rain as we kick off our uh, Thursday. So here's Thursday afternoon. We'll start things off with rain. That'll transition to a little bit of snow, but the main event that we're watching, at least the mo more potent system, moves in Friday night heading into Saturday. Saturday and oh my goodness, look at all that snow Friday night heading into Saturday. How much are we talking? Well, our high resolution model here painting in anywhere between five to say seven, eight, nine inches of snowfall. So this could be a significant snow as we head into Saturday morning. Taking a look at your first warning seven day forecast. Get ready for those two chances for snow. Again, the greatest chance for seeing that accumulating snow going to be Friday night heading into Saturday and Oh yes, it's also going to stay cold. Highs on Saturday will only be in the low to mid 30s.